Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the new Photos app that you can encounter in the Windows Insider program inside Windows 11. Microsoft updated the Photos app with some new features that we're going to cover in this video, of course. But at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to also update or install to this new Photos app because you are not automatically updated to it. Only some users are automatically updated to it. So you can always manually install the new version using the official Microsoft source. Of course, if you enjoy videos like these in which I show you how to install new Windows 11 apps and also what are the new features inside those apps please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all to install the new photos app inside Windows 11 and in the Windows Insider program just go ahead and access the official photos app link inside the Microsoft Store copy the link you're also going to have in-depth information in the article below so you can just copy and paste things from there if you're interested and then go into the store rg-adgar.net which is a website that will help us get official packages for microsoft just select url paste the url here and from this drop down select fast and then click on the check mark wait for a bit so that the website loads all the packages what you need to know about store.rg-adgar.net is that here you can select the channel you want to download the bundle for for example fast is the dev channel slow is the beta channel and rp is the release preview channel i'm not sure that we can install this on the Canary channel. I've tried with the dev channel version and it gave an error. So it's safe to say that you should try this on the dev beta or the release preview channel if you want this to work 100%. And after the packages are loaded, just scroll down to the bottom. Now at the bottom, you should notice the latest version of the Photos app, which is 2023 11050 2013.0 neutral. And make sure that it is the .m6 bundle. Right click on it and then save link as, and you can save it on your desktop. If you get messages like this, just click on keep because it is 100% safe. These packages are from the official Microsoft servers. After the bundle is downloaded, just open it up and you're going to see here, it asks us if we want to update Microsoft Photos, click on update to update the Microsoft Photos app and wait for a bit for the process to be finished. And the Photos app should be installed successfully. So now let's start talking about what is new in this new version of the Photos app. First of all, the Photos app has a new slideshow experience. To start the new slideshow experience, you can either press F5 on your keyboard or right click on the image and then click on start slideshow. And I think this is a pretty interesting experience. As you can see here, we have the buttons where we can go left and right. We can exit the slideshow and we also have some advanced options here. Slideshow options with animations, transitions, auto loop, music, and we can select the type of music that we want. I'm not going to play music in this video because I don't want to get any copyright claims, but you also have the restart slideshow button, the pause slideshow button. You have here the volume of the music and also you can exit full screen on this slideshow if you don't want it to be full screen. I think this is pretty interesting. We also have these nice transitions and animations. This is a nice new slideshow experience. Now the thing that we are getting in the new photos app is the timeline scroll bar. So this is a top feature request and Microsoft introduced this. I think this is pretty interesting. You can basically select pictures from a timeline of uh, month and years i think this is pretty useful and we also have a new function which is the spot fix you can use the spot fix feature to remove blemishes or unwanted areas in your photo so if i click on the edit image button and then go into the retouch button we have the spot fix and we get the size of what we want to remove from our image and as you can see it uses most likely ai to remove things from an image i think this is pretty useful if we want to remove these it does a pretty good job if you ask me so i think this is a very nice new addition in the photos app and we also have some other fixes and improvements for example auto enhance is now available for use without having to install the 93 megabytes add-on when importing photos from external devices you can now drag and drop to choose the photos you want and use the quick toggle to confirm the files that have been selected hidden iCloud photos will no longer display in the gallery and they also fixed an issue where audio on video files is muted by default the app now plays the audio by default and persists user settings across videos copying and pasting a photo from the Photos app into Outlook and Teams now inserts the image in line by default instead of adding an attachment. And also multi-select photos, hold down the shift key while selecting photos in the gallery, now selects multiple consecutive photos in a row, holding down the control key selects multiple non-consecutive photos. So I think this is a great update for the Photos app. I'm looking forward to hearing from you in the comments what you think about this new one, this new update. I think this is a useful and interesting update for the Photos app. Don't forget that in the article below you have more information 
about how to install new photos app on different channels of the Windows Insider program and of course more info about the new features that you can encounter in this new version of the photos app. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech page channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.